click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the last lecture we have got to know about what is a uh, halogen derivative of alkane or we could also call it as haloalkanes as well as we have also uh, got a, a few glimpses about it that how they can be prepared. As well as we have also discussed about what is the general formula of uh, among that one that is borohalogen derivative of alkane. So now we are going to uh, classify this uh, halogen derivative of alkane and there are further classifications from which we are going to understand about the definition of it also as well as we are going to classify that also. That is, we are going to classify the haloalkanes. So, how they are being classified and uh, what are the definition of it? Let us talk about that. So, halogen derivative of alkanes are being classified into basically into four types. And what are those? Let me talk about that. The first is monohalogen derivative of alkane that is I have represented like HD so the second one that we could call is uh, di HD or dihalogen derivative of alkane the next one is tri and the last one is tetra So if we classify these two things, then uh, we could get to know easily that is one among that is monohalogen derivative while other one, while the other one they have basically they have hydrogen atoms that would has been replaced by the corresponding number of uh, that is halogen atoms. So therefore, this all three they could be called as polyhalogen derivatives of LK also. So now let us understand. So we have uh, talked about this classification in, in an overall uh, with the help of this uh, tree diagram, but uh, let me. Uh, introduce you that what would be the definition of it because in the exam so they could ask you the definition and the most important is we have to classify this uh, halogen derivative of alkanes and let us understand that what is the definition of this So now let us understand the definition of it that is the first classification of the HDA and in that case we have got to know that is mono HDA or that is what we call, call as mono halogen derivative of alkane. So the definition of it is that is when one hydrogen atom of an alkane is replaced by one halogen atom and the compound that we have we could obtain is basically known as mono halogen derivative of alkane. For example in the previous example also or in the previous lecture also we have got to know that is for example if I would say that is CH3 CL. That is chloromethane is an example of uh, or uh, is an example where we could classify under that is monohalogen derivative of alkane. So talking about the general formula of the monohalogen derivative, so it could be represented as that is as we have got to know that is Cn H2n plus 2 that is an uh, general formula for the alkane but we are replacing uh, one hydrogen atom of the alkane with the one uh, halogen atom. So therefore the general formula would be Cn H2n plus 1 because one hydrogen has been replaced so therefore we will represent by one x only one x has been or one halogen atom has been replaced that one hydrogen so this is the uh, that is uh, the example as well as the general formula for the moro halogen derivative of alkane so now let us talk about the next one that is dihalogen derivative of alkane so the definition of a dihalogen derivative of alkane can be given as that is when two hydrogen atoms of the alkane are replaced by two halogen atoms then the compound obtained is known as dihalogen derivative of alkane so this is what we have got about the definition and let me give an example of this one that is so we could give you an example like this way that is ch2 cl2 so what we have done is we have replaced the hydrogen atoms of two hydrogen atoms of methane by the respective that is the uh, corresponding that is two halogen atoms and in this case the chlorine atom is basically the halogen atom where we have replaced it over here and the name of this would be called as that is dichloromethane but there is another example that I am going to talk about and uh, let me make you understand that also. But before that, uh, let me give you the general formula for this one. So the general formula for this one can be given, it is very easy to understand. That is, it would be, that is Cn H2n. Usually we 
make it CN H2N plus 2. So that plus 2 it indicates the number of hydrogen atoms. So what we are doing is in this case is we are replacing that two hydrogen atoms by the hydrogen atom that is being uh, present over here as you can see the example. So therefore we could write that example as this way. Simple. So in the previous one that is in borohalogen derivative of alkane the general formula was basically CN H2N plus 1 X. Now we have replaced that uh, hydrogen also and now it has been turned into CN H2N X2. So this is what we have got over here. But let me talk about the another example so that we can further classify this dihydrogen derivative of alkane in the further uh, part. And what are those? Let me talk about this. So in the previous one we have got to know about uh, that is the general formula that is CN H2N X2. So suppose if we are replacing that uh, N with uh, 2 that is we are uh, making the carbons to be 2. So therefore according to that the general formula could be recognized in this way that is C2 H2 into N and in this case the N is nothing but 2 and N represents the number of carbon atoms. So suppose in this case the number of hydrogen atoms would be basically it would be turned into 4. And talking about X2, so we have uh, mentioned here as X2 and uh, so let me give an example. Suppose if that X2 is nothing but Br2. So this is the molecular formula of a particular dihalogen derivative of alkene. And uh, as you could see over here, that could be uh, written as in two forms. And what are those? Let me talk about that also. So these two structures is what I could write it in this way where uh, I could find that is CH2 bond CH2 and here there is two bromine atoms that are being attached to this carbon atom as well as this carbon atom but this structure can be also be written as that is CH3 CH Br that is bromine atom and here also there is bromine atom so basically we could see that this are basically the isomers of each other that is where we could see that the position of the bromine atoms they are uh, on the first example that is on this first classification uh, where the position of the bromine atoms they are attached to two different carbon atoms and they are also attached uh, side by side or we could also call it as they are adjacent carbon atoms so this is the two examples that we have got over here but there is the difference between these two that is here we could see that the two that is the two bromine atoms that is what we have attached over here means in this case you could see that one bromine it is attached to one carbon atom while the adjacent carbon atom uh, is the one where another bromine atom is been attached and here the two bromine atoms they are attached to the same carbon atom here itself so we could again further classify this dihydrogen derivative alkanes into this one that is what i am going to represent so that is if i am talking about this uh, example so we could see that both of the halogen atoms they are being attached to adjacent carbon atoms so therefore this kind of uh, alkyl halides or this kind of di alkyl halides are basically called as vicinal di halides by talking about this one that is this could be called as that is general di halide So if we talk about the definition of it, then the definition of food for the visceral dihalide can be given as in this way also. That is when uh, the two halogen atoms, because we are only classifying about the visceral dihalide, that is halogen derivative of alkane. So that's the reason we could call it in this way also. So talking about the definition of visceral dihalide, then we could uh, represent it in this way. That is when two halogen atoms, they are attached to the carbon atoms adjacent to each other, they are called as visceral dihalide. While the two halogen atoms that are attached to the same carbon atom is known as general dihalide. So this is what we could call and the both are under the classification of dihydrogen derivative of alkane and this is the thing that I have got to know about. So this is the examples that we have discussed about in this one. But let me talk about the IUPC name also. So if I talk about this IUPC name then this could be called as that is 1 comma 2 dibromo ethane while this one could be called as 1 comma 1 dibromo so this is what we have talked about uh, that is uh, the dihalogen derivative of alkane and now let us talk about the third one that is trihalogen derivative of alkane so talking about the definition of it that is we could 
that is called in this way that is when three hydrogen atoms of alkanes are replaced by three halogen atoms that the compound form is known as trihalogen derivative of alkane so let me give you an example of that also that is uh, if you talk about the isom that is ch3 that is we could call it as like ch cl3 you could also call it as that is chloroform as well as it could also be called as one comma one tri that is trichloromethane so even this is the example that is what we could uh, give for trihalogen derivative of alkane and now let us talk about the general formula so talking about the general formula for trihalogen derivative of alkane and as we have got to know with this example that is the three hydrogen atoms of this alkane is being replaced by three halogen atoms so therefore uh, we have a general formula for the alkane also that is CnH2n plus 2 that is for alkane so if we replace the three uh, hydrogen atoms of that alkane so the general for and we are replacing that three hydrogen atoms by the halogen atom so therefore we could get the general formula in this way that is the general formula can be written as cn h 2 n minus 1 because it was earlier plus 2 so therefore the plus 2 has been replaced and again the further that is one hydrogen atom has been replaced so therefore we could write it as cn h 2 n minus 1 x and that x is replaced because 3 x are been replacing it so therefore x3 so this is the general formula for the trihalogen derivative of lk so we can give the further uh, example also but i hope you have got to know but let me give you another example so that we could understand it in a very better way that is uh, suppose if we have an example that is ch2 br ch br and here it is ch2 br so the name of this according to the uh, IPC it would be given as that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 tri bromo methane ethane propane so this is what we have got so this is an example of a trihalogen derivative of alkane and now let us move on to the next one that is the last one that is the tetrahalogen derivative of alkane so what are those let us talk about that also so let us talk about the definition of the tetrahalogen derivative of alkane. Similar to the earlier one, we could also give the definition of this one as that is when four hydrogen atoms of an alkane are replaced by four halogen atoms, the compound that has been formed is basically known as tetrahalogen derivative of alkane. And talk about the uh, that is example of this one, that is we could give it in this way that is CCl4, or we could also call it as carbon tetrachloride. So talking about the general formula. So the general formula for tetrahalogen derivative is uh, very much similar that we have did in our previous one that is really the classification of the trihalogen derivative of alkene and that could be given as that is Cn H2n minus 2 now the number of halogen atoms that is being attached over here is basically so this is what we could give uh, that is uh, the general formula for the tetrahalogen derivative of alkene. So this is the example that we have got over here and this is the overall classification of the halogen derivative of alkene and that is what we have discussed over here. So that's it. This is what I want to talk about and there are further things that we are going to talk about in the next lecture also. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and will share this video with the friends. So till then, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.